Hey, Enoch here from Business of Architecture, and I just wanted to share my my takeaways from the Business of Architecture Summit today. So I, I have my notes here. I've uh, gone through and thought about each of the presentations we had today, and I'm just going to give you my key takeaways. We started out the day to a pack session. Actually, a few people were turned away because we didn't have enough lines open, so we went ahead and, and you know opened up additional lines. So I apologize if you're one of the people that turned away. We uh, really had a lot more people log on to um, at the start of the day than I thought, than I was expecting. So our first presentation was by Mark LePage. He talked about, he kind of pulled back the curtain on transferring his um, his 2,000 square foot brick and mortar office to a home based studio that uses digital tools to reduce overhead. So he gave us this inside peek about what kind of project management tools he's using, talked about how he uses Dropbox for file management, which is a very neat application that allows you to keep all of your files in the cloud securely be able to get backups, you know, if you want to get something backed up from, or like, you know, your file changes, something happened, you want to get, you know, this morning's version or yesterday's version, you can easily do that. Uh, very affordable at 5 to $12 a month. A great alternative to a typical file system that you might have on your server in your office, which you have to personally keep, you know, keep backing up for safety. He also talked about uh, his alternative to a PBX system, which is grasshopper.com. It offers, uh, he's using Grasshopper right now to get three lines for his firm that people can call into, and it will ring on all of his phones, his cell phone, his, his landlines, etc. And it will also transcribe phone calls that go to um, voicemail, which is pretty cool. So right there, he's saving on a traditional PBX system. He'd be paying about $240 a month. Now he has three lines for $40 a month, so that was pretty cool. Steve Wintner, our second speaker, talked about time management discipline, and he really honed in on the what happens when you're not recording your time correctly. So he made a very strong case for recording time daily to be able to boost profits and showed how um, how you're actually hurting the, the competitiveness of your firm by not getting a better understanding of how much it actually costs you to, li to deliver a project. Eric Corey Freed was after him. Eric runs the website Organic Architect. And I'm just going to read back some of the survey responses we got here on Eric's presentation. Uh, Mr. Freed was excellent. Slime content was interesting and relevant. Um, I enjoyed the inspiration given and the call to be assertive in our values, meaning the values of sustainable design. The title of his presentation was Zero or Nothing, basically talking about carbon zero or nothing. And one of the big takeaways someone had here was the approach to getting the client to go along with these sustainable and living building ideas. Um, the funniest, uh, the funniest comment from the surveys was this one um, that they disliked about Eric's presentation. He says the lack of a third Shelley Long reference to complete the coveted Shelley Long trifecta. <laughs> so, um, you know, during Eric's presentation, he had a couple of slides with Shelley Long doppelgangers. Uh, she's the actress off of Cheers and other things. But, anyways. That's near here, though. You have to see that. If you if you saw it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the presentation I gave was on the power of a business mastermind. I, I basically introduced the concept of a business mastermind, talked about the history of it, talked about how successful business leaders have used this concept to to really ramp up their success instead of just going linearly with their their business success, not reinventing the wheel and leveraging the experience and um, of other people. So we had some great participation there. Actually, at the end of that call, we were able to open up the lines, and one of our participants, uh, Jess Stafford of Modus Operandi, um, got a personal hot seat where he was able to share in that group environment, share his business, one of his business challenges in his business right now, and get feedback. Um, I went ahead and opened up the line, get some feedback from some of the other experienced architects on. So that was uh, good information for everyone to have. Uh, after that, we had Richard Petrie, who's a sales and marketing consultant for architects. He talked about the missing step in most architect sales process, and he made a very good case for why you should be charging for your initial consultation and not be giving away your design advice for free. A lot of architects feel like they have to drive all over town, uh, meet people out on site to kind of take a look at their project, and that that really devalues the uh, the value of the time of architects. I mean, you wouldn't have a, a lawyer, you wouldn't expect a lawyer to do that or a doctor. So Richard made a very good case and basically described how you can charge for that initial visit and actually even if and and present it to the client in such a way that even if there's an alternative that is a free consultation someone else is offering, you can make your offer of a paid consultation more attractive. So he walked us through a whole script about how to do that. Let's see, onward. Collier Ward was the the last presentation of the day. Collier talked about 
uh, the power of story of storytelling and architecture, and that was kind of cool. He, um, we all know that we all have sort of that about us blurb on our websites. Well, Collier talked about how we can use the power of storytelling to touch upon the emotional part of people's psyches. So instead of having the sort of standard about us, you know, blurb, we're a service-oriented firm, yada, 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 that we all have, but we all know we want to do something a little bit different, but it's, it's hard to come up with. He gave us a great framework for using our own personal origin story to craft something that was more compelling. And uh, that's it. So anyway, I've extended the uh, the the pre-conference price to the end of the day tomorrow. There's a lot of people that said, "Hey, I didn't hear about the summit. You know, can I get those? Can I still get that previous ticket price?" So right now, I'm keeping it low at 197. And I'm so confident that you're gonna like the information and find it so extremely valuable that if you if you purchase your ticket and you decide that the content isn't worth what what you paid for it, then just Drop me an email, including the time you spent consuming the material. You know, just drop me an email. I'll be glad to refund it. I know it's going to be that valuable for you. So I want to get this in your hand. No hard sell here, just a soft pitch. Uh, go check it out. For those of you who do, do have tickets, I want to let you know that the recordings will be up hopefully by the end of next week of all the sessions. So um, to get those to get those tickets, if you haven't already purchased them, you can go to businessofarchitecturesummit.com and you'll get access to all 12 sessions, including the recording. So you can actually tune in tomorrow for the live sessions, and then you'll have access to the recorded sessions. But at the end of the day tomorrow, that price is going to jump up to uh, to $500 for all the sessions. So this is Enoch, over and out. I hope things are going well for you. Bye-bye.